What industry did you decide to pursue a career in? Now I am in the private equity space. When I was 19, I snuck into like a back office where there was a billionaire. His name was Steve Blank. And I bum rushed him. I shook his hand. I said, hey, my name is Sergio. I'm like this kid. I'm going to be a billionaire, blah, blah, blah. I learned two lessons that day that I took with me for the rest of my life. So number one, uh, in shaking his hand, something like fundamentally hit me. This guy's no better or worse than I am. He was a billionaire. I'm like, okay, that's audited my thinking a little bit. It's like, okay, this is a regular dude, right? Some Joe Schmo who just thought bigger and so he got bigger results. The second thing is I decided to give first the entire time. I was like, what do you want? How can I help you? How can I serve you? How can I be of value to you? We stayed in contact a few days later because of my desire to give first. And so from a networking standpoint, what I would recommend is go into the relationship asking not what can I take, but what can I give? And how old are you now? 32. Throughout your career as an entrepreneur, what has been the most amount of money that you've ever made in a single year? Right around eight figures. You've built, scaled, and sold companies for millions of dollars. What's your best advice to somebody starting a business in today's world? What do they need to know? One of my core values is that I believe that you should fail forward. You fail your way to success constantly. And so if you're going to fail your way to success constantly anyway, why not fail towards the biggest possible outcome? If you look at Tesla or any of Elon Musk's companies, dude, they're not the greatest financially stable companies, but he's failing his way to that billion, multiple billion dollar level. So it's like, think big.